Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to discuss about bioengineering solutions for osteoporosis. So in order to understand what is bio, what are the bioengineering solutions for the osteoporosis, we will see what is osteoporosis. So far we discussed about uh, the skeletal systems, its introduction and, uh, and, and as well as how exactly the skeletal systems uh, works okay as a scaffold we discussed and uh, so now here we are discussing about bioengineering solutions for the osteoporosis so for muscle systems a scaffold we had discussed about one of the disease of the muscle system that is uh, muscular dystrophy and we had given the bioengineering solutions for that for skeletal system we are having the uh, same one of the disorder we have taken as an example according to our syllabus that is osteoporosis so we will see what is osteoporosis and based on that what are what exactly the bioengineering solution has to offer the so, um, you know bioengineering has to offer the solution for the osteoporosis that we will discuss in this topic okay so let's see uh, okay so osteoporosis so osteoporosis the definition what is what exactly osteoporosis osteoporosis is nothing much it's a condition okay what condition uh, in muscle weakness we had a muscular dystrophy right so similarly here bone weakness for bone weakness we are we are calling it as a osteoporosis and it makes them more likely to break like a fracture kind of structure will be there and especially the bones in hip spine and wrist hip spine and wrist they their uh, particular uh, bones will weaken and then more likely to uh, almost like a fracture okay they break uh, breakage kind of stops the fracture kind of stuff will be there so it occurs when the body loses bone mass and density so this particular osteoporosis occurs whenever the body loses bone mass and density that means bone is losing its mass and density means that is probably because of the osteoporosis leading to the fragile bones that means they are prone to the fracture that means they will be very weak if you are uh, applying more pressure uh, and if you are we, uh, you can't carry your own body weight so uh, that will be uh, that will form a fracture and all so that means so much weakness will be there in the bones so osteoporosis and you know so next topic we will tell you by engineering solution for osteoporosis and the so either you know you have a skeletal system and you know other do hey get work out that other than on this is my degree but the other do scaffold like a work model than a discount model so illy now give muscular system selena on the example could be allowed the muscular dystrophy on the disease you know are there are osteoporosis one of the bone related disease and the example for the really so in early muscular dystrophy and a part of the weakness of muscles and the early weakness of bone so you know osteoporosis so I thought so you do you not tell them how to have done is to be got a tender early bone and fracture but it's not a good day is usually hip post by mother is still kind of the either other problems follow but the osteoporosis you're ready in the end of the bone other the mass method density and the loose model the under is to bone weight if the other weight can be after what they matter the density is that allow the cut out of the so either in the end of the bones of fragile at the other time to more sensitive and the power the week at the over there so new more body weight and then you are going to call a last to do फ्रैक्चर आदर आदर ला आता होगा तो आदर आ कंडीशन के ना वो स्टेपोरेसिस इन तक करेंगे सो इधर हेल्थी बोन दिस इज़ द माइक्रोस्कोपिक इमेज ऑफ़ द बोन सो दिस इज़ द हेल्थी बोन एंड वेरेस वो स्टेपोरेटिक बोन सो यू कैन सी देर इज़ अ डिफरेंस हियर ओके सो दिस आर द माइक्रो आर्किटेक्चरल डिटेरिओरेशन deterioration will be there because of the bone resorption and bone formation if you see like this bone formation bone resorption so because of this what happens eventually these micro vessels there will be because of this elevated risk of fracture will be there because if you are applying any lot of pressure and all so suddenly you will get the fracture okay so this is how the healthy bone osteophoretic bone looks like and after the fracture it looks like this as a micro image, microscopic image so you do healthy bone the structure are you know what though he here beko but osteophoretic bone alien are the under in the micro architectural deterioration under in the difference here at the ether in the moon ether are the either in the in the time of the you we call it you do in the dark icon of the light love we got the way so he we got that the last year the fracture are the thing we extra another or tomorrow for some hard ladder fracture are the thing 
So, what are the bioengineering solutions for the osteoporosis? In the bioengineering solution for muscular dystrophy is almost similar here also. We use gene therapy there, we use stem cell therapy there, we use tissue engineering, we use exoskeleton technology there. Instead of exoskeleton technology, we are just mentioning here biomaterials. For even for exoskeleton also, you need biomaterials only, almost same only. Okay, you can just copy paste the, both the same thing. Instead of skeletal, you can just put muscular systems okay so bioengineering solution for osteoporosis aim to improve the bone health and prevent fracture some of the approaches being explored which will include the tissue engineering stem cell therapy uh, biomaterials gene therapy so tissue engineering you know that what is tissue engineering tissue engineering involves again creating scaffold now we, along with the scaffold you need to have growth factors then along with the growth factor, you need to have cells so you are having this tissue scaffold here you need to add the cells seeding the cells then add the growth factors now the particular whatever the bone cells are there they will start attaching to the scaffold they will start uh, proliferating dividing and proliferating and they will finally they will form a new bone tissue and they will promote the repair of the damaged bones okay now the goal is to create functional bone okay a bone tissue that can replace the lost bone mass and density in the individual with the osteoporosis now what is been lost in osteoporosis bone mass and bone density in order to gain that we need to have a new bone cells or with the help of new bone cells we will get the new bone tissues okay so new bone to get the bone cells to the bone tissue we need scaffold and growth factors that is tissue engineering okay so that they can stimulate the growth of the new bone tissue okay so that was about tissue engineering tissue engineering we have three things one the cells growth factors and scaffold scaffold we prepare scaffold we have cells and seed, we have growth factors, and the cells have growth factors, and the cells have divide, and the proliferate, and the final tissue form. So, we use this tissue. We use this tissue in a healthy tissue form. We use this tissue in a healthy tissue. We use this tissue in bone density and bone mass. हो गिर द कारण है अदर ना वो रीगेम मार्ट बोल दो ऐसा बोन डेंसिटी बोन मास वो सारे टिश्यू वाले आदो बोन मास में तो बोन इधर डेंसिटी दे रहते हैं नेक्स्ट टॉपिक वे आर हैविंग एस स्टेम सेल थेरेपी नेक्स्ट अप्रोच दैट इस स्टेम सेल थेरेपी यू नो दैट वी विल यूज द स्टेम सेल्स then we to replace the damaged bone cells okay so that they will promote their growth and regeneration or repair and regeneration of the bone tissue now the stem cells can be taken from the patient's own body okay other from the own body from the patient's body that i told you that will be called as autologous stem cells or from the other uh, bodies also that is allogenic stem cells and we know that allogenic stem cells if you are taking from uh, uh, cells from the different person there will be immune rejection because our immune system will think it as a foreign body and it will start fighting it so that these cells will go and start fighting those particular cells i mean uh, uh, the uh, stem cells so that the stem cells might get damaged for that you need to take extra precautions that this and all so usually we go for autologous stem cells so stem cell therapy and rena pandre stem cells are use martira stem cells so yav tara ir bekandre alli bone cells iddu work kelsa na ad maad beko athara stem cells anna use maad kondu new promote martira you know in a la cells repair agathe atho regeneration of new tissue agathe so adukke beka giru anta nimge bone cells e beka la adana new patient anna ne thagondre autologous stem cells anta karithivi horagade inda bere person inda thagondre adana allogenic stem cells anta karithivi iga horagade inda allogenic stem cells inda thagoluvaga enagutte anta na on previous topic alli discuss madidevi allu horagade adu nama immune system o nava adana haak takshana aa cells anna haaki takshana adu foreign bodies anta detect maadi adana fight madakke try madutte antibodies produce madutte immune system adu hogi adana saisakke try madutte अदरिंद अली डैमेज आगबूद अथवा इंफ्लमेशन आगो इनफेक्षन आगबूद आर प्रॉब्लम अदान प्रोटेक्ट मे नमें मत सेमी पर्म मेम्रेन आडे आर तुम चालेंजस् यूशली अद्क ना आटोलॉग सिसम स्टेम से होती नेक्स्ट बयो मटीरियल बयो मटीरियल हियर यू कैन यूज द सिंथेटिक बयो मटीरियल आर् न्याचुरल मटीरियल टू रिप्ले आर् अग्युमेंटेड डैमेज बोन टिश्यू दट मीन टू रिप्ले द होल न्यू बोन आर् द डैमेज बोन टिश्यू or argument argument in the sense the cut part okay so that sense next biomaterials can be designed to mimic the properties of the natural bone and promote the growth of the new bone tissue that means you know what are biomaterials they have to be biocompatible biodegradable all those things so that biomaterials are designed in such a way that they are going to copy or they are going to perform like a bone they should act like a bone 
like uh, uh, so those materials only we are going to use so that they can promote the growth of the new bone tissue so biomaterials andre on the materials synthetic agirabodu or natural agirabodu yavade use martive andre yavadalli elli ella bone damage agirutte athwa bone iralla adanna वापस पड़कोलोस्क बयोमेट्रियल यूज अदान हे यूज हेगी बयोमेट्रियल बोन फंक्षन अब कामिको आ प्रॉपर्टी ताला प्रॉपर्टी बयोमेट्रियल अंत बयोमेट्रियल ना यूजुक बोन अल डे आगे बोन रिपेरब अथवा न्यू बोन टिश्यू फार्मी अद्वान ना प्रमो प्रमोट नेक्स्ट वि आर् हैविंग जीन थेरपी जीन थेरपी दट मीन Uh, it will be you know that gene therapy is nothing but uh, something manipulating at the genes okay now this involves delivering the functional copy of gene that means you are going to uh, imagine the person is with the osteoporosis uh, maybe because of his uh, the particular protein which is responsible for the bone formation is not proper during that uh, the gene which is coding for that particular protein you change that protein or you deliver the functional copy which is not function that particular gene is not functioning that is why you are not getting the proper protein to the bones so that that's why the bones are weaker so now you change the genetics of this thing so that you will get a functional copy of a gene so that will be involved in a bone growth and repair of the affected bone cells now the goal is to study what is the goal of the gene therapy to restore the production of the missing protein and improve the bone health okay understanding so gene therapy is not there and now basically gene mele concentrate martivi elli yava protein idda illade karana osteoporosis agutte aa protein code maduvanta genes anna naavu nodi aa genes sariyagi code martilla anta gottadaga aa genes anna naavu change martivi hege functional copy of the gene anna haaktivi yavudu function alli illalla adanna tegitivi so avage enagutte id id madodrinda रिपेर अथवा रीजनरेशन आगबूद अद हे अरे ना प्रोटीन करेक्ट प्रोड्यूस बाकी अदर अदरष्ट के अदे आगते सो दी फोर अप्रोचस् आर् स्टील इन द अर्ली स्टेजस् आफ द डवलपमेंट बट होल प्रमिस फॉर् द फ्यूचर ट्रीटमेंट ट्रीटमेंट आफ् द ओस्टोपोरोसिस सो क्लिनिकल ट्रयल अंड फर्दर रिसर्च आर नीडेड टू डिटर्मैन द सेफ्टी एंड एफिकेसि आफ दी थेरपी दिस इज आलो अ कॉपी पेज फॉर्म द मस्क्युल सिसम एस यू आर्ज जस्ट कॉपी पेज इफ यू स्टडी दैट दिस टापिक इस वेरी सिमिलर सो इन अर्ली स्टेजल डवलपमेंटल रिसर्चल क्लिनिकल ट्रयलसल फर्दर रिसर्च आगे याद के सेफ्टी मत एफिकेसी नोड़े सेम कापी पेज फ्रम द मस्क्युल सिसम अद्वर बैठे सर ना डिस्कस ना क्लिनिकल ट्रयल्स मीन मी वाट अ ट्रयिंग आन ट्रयल आन ह्यूम सो क्लिनिकल ट्रयल्स अरे ह्यूम मेले ट्रयल अथवा एक्सपेरीमेंट अब जास्ती आगे अद्विद नमें सेफ्टी वेदर इट इस सेफर और एफिशियंट दैट वि विल सी बेस्ड दें बेस्ड आन दैट इट विल मेड अवेलेबल फॉर् एव्री वन नेक्स्ट इन अडिशन टू दिस द ट्रेडिशनल ट्रीटमेंट्स आर देर फॉर ऑस्टियोफोरोसिस व्हाट आर दोस ट्रेडिशनल प्रोविजन्स वी हैव अ मेडिकेशन वी कैन जस्ट यूज द मेडिकेशन इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस फोर अप्रोचेस और यू कैन गो फॉर द एक्सरसाइज इफ इट इज इन द अर्लियर स्टेज एंड लाइफ स्टैल लाइफ स्टैल हैज टू बी चेंज सो दैट युवर द प्रोटीन प्रोडक्शन विल बी मोर और युवर वेट कैन बी रिड्यूस आल दोज कैंड आफ थिंग्स विल कम अंडर लाइफ स्टैल एंड विल लाइकली टू कंटिन्ू प्ले एंड वेरी इंपारटेंट रोल इन प्रिवेटिंग द फ्राक्चर्स एंड मेन्टेनिंग द हेल्थ बोन्स इन इंडिविजुअल विद ऑस्टियोफोरोसिस दीज ट्रेडिशनल ट्रीटमेंट आलो प्ले अ वेरी इंपारटेंट रोल वेर वि कैन मेन्टेन वि कैन प्रिवेट द फ्राक्चर फ्राक्चर्स बै यू नो अडाप्टिंग द मेडिक बै यूसिंग द मेडि मेडिकेशन एक्ससाइज एंड अडाप्टिंग दि डिफरेंट लाइफ स्टैल सो दैट वि कैन हाव वि कैन अवॉड दि Uh, fractures and also we can maintain the healthy bone tissues okay uh, so that's it so in addition idrotike nam en madabodu andre now kelavondu conventional treatment galive athwa ee nalaku approach bittu bere treatment enide andre medication so usually idu thumba starting alle problem alli gottadaga nam medicine thagondu idakke guna aagabodu osteoporosis inda horagade barabodu athwa exercise madodrinda moolaka nam horagade barabodu athwa lifestyle change madidre नमेंगे प्रोटीन प्रोडक्शन करेक्ट प्रॉपर आगे ऐने अथवा हेगे लाइफ स्टैलो एस्ट एक्ससैज में एक्ससैज में तक्रे ना फ्राक्चर आगोद तड़गटबू अस्टेल हेल्थ बोन सेलस ना मेन्टेन ओस्टोपोरस पेशेंटली सो नेक्स्ट टापिक वि आर् हाविंग आर्टिफिशियल बोन दैट वि विस्कस इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास